I would like for you to sit and imagine you in study hall. You're sitting there, minding your own business, listening to music, trying your best to rest. Because the entire school day was extremely exhausting and you would like to take this moment to finally go to sleep. Because this is your last period. But as you're trying to go to sleep, you hear a lot of very rowdy boys behind you. You sit there, try your best to ignore it, and try your best to think nothing of it. However, they begin shrieking, and they begin becoming more rowdy, at this point snickering, and hyping each other up. Again, slightly annoyed, and awakened by them being more rowdy than they were before, you try to shrug it off. However, before you are able to go back to sleep, something hits the back of your neck, and you hear the voice laughing very loud at this point. Your heart sinks, and you begin to shake. You are completely confused by what had just happened and what had hit the back of your neck. You very slowly bring your hand to the item that had hit the back of your neck, pick it up, and bring it to your face. That is when you notice that it was crumpled up gum wrappers. You look around you, and you see that there's not one, not two, but several crumpled up gum wrappers that these boys behind you were throwing at you. At this point, you begin to shake it even more, and you abruptly get up from your seat. You can't compose yourself anymore. You start walking towards the teacher with tears in your eyes, and you are barely able to utter the words, can I please get out of this classroom? I don't feel safe here anymore. The study hall teacher, confused but understanding of your situation as he saw what was happening behind you, says yes. You go back to get your things and pack up. At this point, you're shaking worse than before, and you're sobbing. You are finally able to pick up all of your stuff and get escorted out of the study hall room and are sent to guidance. This happened to me not too long ago. And because of this, it is just a constant reminder that no matter what I do, no matter what I say, people are always going to be out to get me. And the reason why this happened is because of me being a furry. Hey, Eat Demon Scammers and our fellow animators. Very dramatic intro aside, yes. This did happen to me. When it first happened, I was extremely frustrated and pissed off. Rightfully so. This whole situation should not have happened. Luckily, the person who had thrown the gumball wrappers at me did get a talking to. But those boys are still extremely rowdy and extremely loud behind me. And love to talk shit about me literally right behind me so that's awesome that aside not only did that whole gum wrapper situation happen but another situation had happened which was not fun at all and i found to be incredibly annoying and uncalled for to be honest it seems that this week of school the bullying just decided to get worse than it was before which does not help because not only am I dealing with bullying right now, but I'm also dealing with someone who has been harassing me for five years. And I'm pressing charges for something that they did five years ago that is illegal. Which, yeah, that is stressful. That, along with the bullying, is not fun at all. But... While I was on my way to economics after lunch, I was with my friend. We used the elevator because 
I have a very hard time going up the stairs due to my medical condition, POTS syndrome. It makes it to where you can pass out very easily. And for me, my POTS syndrome is really, really bad. Anytime I try to go up the stairs, I feel extremely faint afterwards and like almost pass out. And it's very, very dangerous for me. And it's very scary. But after I had exited the elevator and was on my way to economics, this boy who was next to his girlfriend, I assume, started meowing at me. And I made the offhanded remark of, oh, I love kitties. And my friend was like, what? I'm like, there's this guy that's behind me that is literally meowing at me right now. And they were like, oh, uh, do you want me to like stay here and like get someone? And I'm like, no, it it's fine. I had grabbed my camera and snapped a picture of him. The reason why I did this is so I could get the time, because usually in pictures, you can click the details, it'll tell you the time that you took the picture, the day that you took the picture, and I needed it for his description. But I was headed back to economics after I had snapped that picture, and he had followed me with his girlfriend, and continued barking at me, and meowing at me. My teacher was not there. If he was, then I would have told him what was happening, and that kid would have gotten yelled at. But a substitute teacher was there, and he just kept on doing it. And his girlfriend was in the same class as me. She started talking about it to her friends and laughing about it. And, like, I was shaking really bad, because that has not happened for a while now. And being followed around and barked at and meowed at is not fun at all is borderline harassment but i had emailed my principal about the situation gave her the description gave her the time and the date all that stuff hopefully that was handled but that was very very annoying after that whole situation a day had passed this was friday there was an assembly going on and we had glow sticks. It was okay. I don't like assemblies because I'm autistic. I don't do well with loud noises. I don't do well with flashing lights. I get overstimulated very easily. And because of that, it can cause me to have a meltdown because of the overstimulation. And like cause me to start shaking, etc. It's not a fun time for me. But at the assembly... It was over, thank god, because I was getting very, very overwhelmed and irritable. Because, again, I don't do well in environments like that. I wish I didn't have to go to them. But after I had gone to the assembly, there was this girl. She made a remark saying, Ew, there's a furry over there. And she just didn't want to be near me. So that made me feel absolutely incredible. And I had made the comment to my friend, why can't I just have one day where a jackass doesn't point me out and bully me? Why can't I just have one day? And that made my friend upset. I wasn't intending to make my friend upset, but she doesn't do well with stuff like that. Especially after an assembly, we're both autistic, so we were both, like, very, very overwhelmed at this point. But I had gone back to class and just broke down crying after I had used the restroom. Because, like, I can't help but think, what is it I'm doing wrong to deserve this kind of treatment? It has been two almost three years of me getting bullied and harassed for being a furry. I don't even do anything at school that in any way would indicate I'm a furry. I dress normally. I dress in a way that other people do just so I don't get bullied, but I still get bullied. It doesn't matter what the fuck I do. People are still going to go out of their way to harass me and bully me. They don't care they do not care it is so annoying i don't know what these people want from me 
I do not know what they want. Because at this point, it genuinely just feels like what they even want from me anymore is for me to be literally dead. Because no sensible or reasonable person would have been bullying me for this fucking long. Especially after me having constant meltdowns due to the amount of pressure and me being overwhelmed by the bullying. No sensible or reasonable person would continue to fucking bully someone over something that they found out almost three years ago. They found out I was a furry almost three years ago. And they're still latching onto it and bullying me for it. I don't get it. I was on my way to lunch from food science. And while I was on my way to lunch, this was on Wednesday. I absolutely hate Wednesdays. Wednesdays are extremely overwhelming for me because on Wednesdays, we have our full schedule. I like doing the block schedule because there's less moving around and it's less overwhelming and confusing for my autistic brain. But while I was heading to lunch, this huge group of girls walked past me and screamed furry multiple times. Like, directly pointing me out and making me feel really unsafe and scared. So because of that, I had turned around and started walking back to food science because I did not feel safe going to lunch anymore. These girls thought I was following them. I wasn't. I don't know if they thought I was going to beat them up or what, but they kept on looking behind them and acting really scared. They sped walked away from me and I was just trying to head back to class. So after that, I had finally got back into the classroom and I just asked my food science teacher if I could just start sobbing. Because my entire day from that point was really fucking stressful. Because not only did that situation happen, but I there was just a lot happening that day. The bullying was the worst it has been for a while. There, there were a lot of people, like, bullying me that day. It sucked. But that, that situation was probably the worst. I had literally stayed in the food science class and ate an entire pack of frozen hot dogs. I ate six hot dogs. Because I was too scared to go out of my way to go to lunch because of these girls. I don't get why these girls hate me so much. I don't get why they want to point me out the way they do it's really annoying i don't deserve to be treated in that way and it's really unfair because i would like to graduate in person like at school however that doesn't seem to be an option anymore i don't feel safe enough being in the school building I do not feel safe enough being in the school building because the bullying has gotten that fucking bad. It is ridiculous. But because of that, I am really, really wanting and hoping that I'm able to finish off school either at home, which I would very heavily prefer to do it at home because there's way less of a chance of me potentially getting bullied again or doing it in a separate building where I have to do the classes there, but I would still have to go to school. I would have to go to school in the mornings and then they would have to drive me to that separate building so I can do my online classes there and it's just a lot for my brain to handle. I just really hope I can do my classes at home so it's less overwhelming for me. And so I don't even have a chance of getting bullied again. I'm just absolutely, like, completely terrified of that. But I really, really hope things work out. And if not, I would like for me to have a schedule where I'm just in one class the entire day. So I don't have to move around because the whole issue 
is me moving from class to class because the bullying happens in the hallways and it happens in the mornings, it happens at the end of the day. If I don't have any movement, then that should potentially have the bullying not as bad or not even happen at all because the whole reason why it happens is because people see me. Not because of the way I look. No, it's not that. They've just recognized my face, which sucks. Sometimes I just wish I could be invisible because then I wouldn't have to deal with getting bullied and being on edge all the time, just being at school. It's just so unfair that I even have to consider not going to school in person. Like... It's, it's not fair. It's really not fair, and it's frustrating. I've been under so much stress lately because of everything that's been going on, and I'm just really over it. I want it to be over. But... The whole purpose of me making videos like this is to, as I always say, spread awareness, to have people be aware that this stuff is very prevalent, is very real, especially, especially towards people in minority groups. Which, in this case, it's furries, because the only reason why I am being bullied is because of me being a furry. Yes, there have been instances where I've been bullied for being trans, but the main reason out of me being trans, out of me being queer, etc., of me getting bullied is because I'm a furry. That is the main reason. The purpose is to hopefully have people understand that what they say and do hurt people a lot. I want this to be a chance and an opportunity for people to emphasize with furries or people within minority groups and to potentially stop future bullying if not at least lessen it because no one deserves to be bullied it's completely unwarranted it's stupid but yeah that'll be the end of this video i'm sorry it's not a positive one i just wanted to give you guys an update on everything that's been going on at school and it's it sucks. It really sucks. I really hope that this last week. Next week is the last week until the end of this semester. And after this semester, that's when I have the chance to do online school. And I really hope that works out. We'll see. I will update you guys on that. Hopefully I don't get bullied anymore next week, but who knows? Maybe that will happen because it always seems to happen. I've just lost hope at this point. Other than that, just remember you are loved by me and a lot of other people. Please drink water. My channel is always a safe place for you guys to vent. Please like, subscribe, share. It would be appreciated because it does help my channel a lot. See ya!